In this video we will explain the purpose of Wi-Fi, become familiar with the components required for wireless networking and be familiar with how to secure a wireless network. So Wi-Fi, as I'm sure you're well aware, is a common standard to allow for wireless networking. So that's the networking of devices without cables. Obviously this has huge benefits. Users can move around freely. It's easy to set up and often less expensive as not worrying about the cabling. It's certainly very convenient to use. It can handle a large number of users. And of course it's great and easy for the transfer of information to social media. Of course there are some downside, no matter how good Wi-Fi is these days, even with 3G and 4G and decent Wi-Fi hubs and routers, the speeds are still slower than wired networks. It relies very highly on the strength of the signal coming from the closest wireless access point. Signals can very easily be obstructed and it is also typically less secure than wired networks. So here we see an abstracted diagram of some of the uh, components required for wireless networking. At the end of the day, every device that you want to connect wirelessly must have what's known as a wireless network interface card. Now all your devices will have network interfaces cards in and typically all of them these days, especially mobiles and tablets, will have a wireless network interface card. This is no good of course unless they can communicate with a wireless access point. That wireless access point then must have some route out onto the larger network or indeed the internet as a whole. Now typically these days you will have a home router which is also acting as a modem and a wireless access point all built into one. More typically in areas like your school or workplace there will be separate wireless access points in key areas on walls located around the school or the offices. It's very important that wireless networks are secure and for this we use a number of features including something important known as the SSID. So wireless networks are identified by their unique service set identifier or SSID. It's this SSID which is used by devices that want to connect to a wireless network and when you log on to say a smartphone and you have a look you'll see the list of SSIDs in here. The SSID can be set to broadcast automatically to any wireless device within the range of the wireless access point. Now there are several things you can do to help protect your wireless network. The SSID can be set automatically but you're also able to change the name yourself. You can also make the SSID hidden. So here these SSIDs are broadcasting and publicly available. You can make it so it doesn't show up. You'd actually have to know the name of it to be able to connect to it. Of course, one of the simplest ways to help protect a network is to make sure the SSID is protected with a password. Here, we can see that these wireless networks are protected with passwords. So if I attempted to connect to them, they would ask me for a password first. Whereas this one, a guest Wi-Fi, is unprotected, meaning I can simply connect to it as long as I can discover it.